Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading. As you can see, I have three card piles to choose from and we are focusing on the month of September, what you can expect for the month of September. So allow yourself to focus on each of the piles, allow yourself to gravitate towards the one that visually and energetically stands out to you the most. Feel free to choose one, two, or three piles. You don't need to just choose one or the other. The world is your oyster, so you can have whatever you wish. Just make sure that you're checking in with your intuition and you're not trying to force a message here. So having said that, I'm going to go ahead and meet you at your timestamps. All right, my loves. So if you chose pile number one, these are your cards. I haven't seen any of them. Let's start with the tarot. What does the month of September have in store for you? Wow, first things first, we have the death card. We also have 10 of pentacles and we have the nine of wands. Let me sit with this energy really quickly. September feels very supportive of you. And sometimes it doesn't feel that way initially when you are faced with transition, transformation, change. However, it genuinely feels like all of this is for your highest and greatest good. And I actually see this as the end, the end of struggle. I think though that you may be doubting, you may be doubting the future. You are doubting security in your future. This could show up in long lasting relationships, marriage partners. It could be financial success and abundance. It could also be your mental health because I'm definitely seeing a strong need towards focusing on, I'm hearing the word sanity. So making sure that you're not allowing things to get in like um, infusing into your headspace and making you feel like you're not stable, that you're not supported. September is also going to help you to connect to loved ones that you've already lost, whether that be your ancestors by honoring them at your altar or by really feeling connected to the spiritual realms. It's not even just people, it's also animals is something that I'm seeing here is connecting to those who have already passed on and really feeling connected and a kinship and a friendship despite not being able to see them in the physical every single day, you know? I feel, I feel like you're gonna be inspired in new ways in the month of September to manage stress. And I also feel that for many of you, you're going to make a major change in your career that allows you to afford to enjoy life. And when I say afford to enjoy life, I don't necessarily mean that there will be a raise in your income that will make mean that you have to do more work. There's something about the quality of the life that you're living is something that you can enjoy. And I also think that you're gonna see how working overly, like over time, doesn't necessarily make a happier you. For some of you guys, you're also going to be leaning into boundary setting. So if this is where you're expected to take one for the team or to show up on a day off or to show up when you're on vacation, you simply are not entertaining that thought. <laughs> There's so much energy here about prioritizing your mental and emotional well-being, like really protecting your vitality. The month of September is going to feel very supportive when it comes to friendships and family. I don't know if I necessarily see it with everybody. So let's say there's a few family members that you directly connect with the most. You're really going to bond with them versus 
needing to be available or wanting to be available with all with the entirety of the family it just feels like there's individual focusing on the family members or friendships that feel very very supportive of you right now and i i gen i genuinely get this feeling of like no strings attached or no sense of like obligation or duty it almost feels like any type of family family member or family friend or connection here that is like stressful to you they're almost like distracted those people feel like they're distracted and being pulled in different directions so it's almost like september is giving you a break or an ease from people and energies that just honestly stress you out money also for you in september feels very stable i also feel like I don't know if I want to call it like a handout, but as soon as you feel the need for something, the universe somehow arranges arranges it so that you're provided for it. So you, there's this really strong need for me right now to tell you that try not to worry in the month of September if your finances are things that are on the forefront of your mind. It feels like every one of your every single one of your wants and needs is, needs is provided for like you're being covered. I don't know if this is like a shift that is being covered so that you can take a break, so that you can spend time with like away from work, from life, whatever the case is. Or this could be someone who struggles about how their bills are going to be paid, but somehow something happens and it's all taken care of. For others, I th I genuinely see wealth around you for the month of September. You're going to be actually enjoying it. I see you really enjoying life, like really enjoying life. I also think that for the month of September, you're gonna connect with purpose, like not just purpose in the present, but purpose for longevity, like something that just you just really fit into, that you settle into. Some of you guys, I don't know why, but I'm seeing a connection to an Airbnb or like a vacation home where you're getting away or preparing to get away and there's something about the energy of the home or the history of the home that inspires you along your own purpose, along your own journey. It feels very quiet. It feels very nature supported. So I don't know if I necessarily see this as someone escaping to the city. It feels like you're escaping to something far away, whatever that means for you. It feels very far away. All right, let's go ahead and look at your Oracle. Wow, Moonlit ma Enchantment Magic. So this is beautiful. Because I feel this as definitely um, connection to your own mystical side. It, that would make a lot of sense because it's everything I'm telling you in the month of September feels like it's just so wonderfully provided for. If someone's waiting or planning for the future and you're just not sure of if there will be enough options for you or if things will be, if there will be quote unquote like space available, if you'll be chosen or if things will pan out, you're going to watch how things effortlessly unfold, not only for the now, but for for a, a long time. Like there's a sense of longevity in the month of September for you. So whatever change is happening in the month of September feels like it supports you for a good chunk of your life or the next season of your life. So if it doesn't, if you feel like something that you were hoping for doesn't pan out, there's a really strong sense of encouragement and trusting where you're placed is ultimately where you're supposed to be because you're going to have more resources available for you versus the original plan that you thought that you would have wanted and it's helping to ease off you doing so much 
the two examples that are showing up in my in my mind's eye right now is like a college university where someone has a full scholarship it but it doesn't feel like it's the college choice of their dreams but everything is covered so it makes your the 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 entirety of your life a little easier to manage when it comes to finances and resources and on top of that the sense of community there will feel way better than a bigger the a dip i don't know why i'm feeling like bigger like something feels like weight like the weight of it feels heavier and even though that was the cho- like your dream college or your dream choice there's there it would have cost a lot more and you would have fell like something about being like submerged in all of all of the environment around you versus a smaller campus and full coverage in your financial aid it ends up connecting you with the right people even though originally you might not have been open to that so that's a very specific message but there's something about your placement is something that will carry you for the the seasons to come and it's not necessarily what you're expecting but it's very uplifting and very supportive and very hands-on to you and your specific wants and needs i love that it feels very magical wow you have the diamond do you see what i'm saying this feels very like longevity long lasting precious for some of you this is this could actually bring in engagement because there's a lot of energy here around longevity and like a relationship lasting the test of time you might see the gift of that if someone's putting down the investment for it it's genuinely an investment like they're trying to show you as you're transitioning your as your relationship is transitioning in the month of September this feels very solid if there has already been engagement or progression when it comes to your relationship you're going to see how life falls to place in the month of September and spirit is asking you to prioritize it and to enjoy it and to not put your so much pressure on yourself and to put so much pressure on the situation because Everything feels like it pans out really, really well. What else do we have here? We have Greater Bilby, Dark Knight of the Soul. Interesting because it I did get this sense of angst, anxiety and angst in this period of transition in your life, especially with the death card here. But there's something to be said about when we, when we can't see always the light at the end of the tunnel we have to kind of rely on our faith or we have to rely on the universe. We have to rely on our magic. And when we see ourselves through it, looking back, we see how synchronistic everything is aligned, how everything aligns, every small detail somehow pans out, somehow it works out. So if you are genuinely questioning the future, you're questioning the present, this is definitely confirmation that there is magic afoot. There is healing afoot. There is synchronistic events unfolding all around you right now. Every small detail and all of it genuinely feels for your own healing, for your own protection, but ultimately for your greater good where it's, it's moving you into a place where this is a better fit for you and you'll be more supported versus if you are not being magically led right now or there isn't any divine influence i also feel like um this ancestry message or this animal that passed on they feel very comforting they feel like a, a very gentle supportive guide to you so they provide a lot of comfort let's look at your next card yeah share the message of love rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy be mindful of each word that passes your lips this is beautiful because you clearly are in a position right now of manifestation and magic it doesn't feel like you're actively going to your altar or setting intention or vision boarding it feels like you've done that already and things are falling into place I also feel like past prayers or past intentions or past things are manifesting now. I would be curious to see what your past intention sessions look like years ago and comparing them to your present moment because there's something here about things 
really unfolding in a bright and beautiful way. For some of you, I'm also feeling that your your purpose is going to be inspiring others by the authentic path that you take through a dark night of the soul, soul moment. You're going to be a beacon of light to help others who are going through similar situations, especially with the diamond card showing here. It, it reminds us of the pressure that is necessary for us to undergo sometimes in order to transition and transform into the beautiful, brilliant being that we have always been, but we start to see it more. It's brought out, it's, it's highlighted. Wow, Swan Spirit is another card of transition here and also beauty and I, I just really feel the quality of the energy around you. This feels very long lasting. It feels like a worthy investment. Some of you guys might really be making an investment in yourself, in your future. And this is why it's so important that you're inviting magic to come to come in because it helps to it helps to protect this investment and helps you to guide to be intuitively guided and led to the right path for you and my concern though is that through the month of September you might fight that instead of trusting it but think about the journey of the swan and how sometimes it can't necessarily see what it is to what it's what it's going to look like also the swan represents um fidelity staying true and loyal to your love so for some of you your your relationship itself has undergone a lot of transformation and you're choosing to stick together you're choosing to to through sickness or through health you know like you're you're just really saying that this is what i want and i'm going to protect it and i'm going to commit myself to it wow look another card of transformation Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. So this is another another sign of tremendous transformation all around you. September is going to be a month where the transformation that is happening is something that you've called into. And ultimately, it's giving you a higher quality of experience here on Earth. This means that you'll be able to wake, like open up your eyes in the morning and know that it was worth it. By what you see, by what you hear, by what you feel, it feels very supported, it feels very worth it. Wow, see, Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide. So this is another sign of grounding yourself, stabilizing yourself, because things are A, working out, very magical by the way, but also you're be, gonna be ample, ample provided for. And I don't know if you guys are noticing, but the richness here, there's so much energy here of richness and wealth. For everyone, it'll be different. And for some of you guys, it'll be of a layering of these different things coming together. So you might be really experiencing of a luxury vacation during the time of September. You might have maybe not a change in your finances, but a change in your time so that you can enjoy what you've saved. Or you're finding wealth looks different for you. And that's about peace of mind and the ability to not be on call, to not be available, to disconnect, to slow down. And for others, maybe to even speed up, but either way, you're being protected here. And you're being you're definitely being encouraged because I'm I'm also seeing that what things were is not what they will remain to be. And this feels like an offer. It feels like a good thing to say yes to, a good thing to open your energy up to, even if it means that you need to transition, to move, to shift. It feels really very supportive and you'll see that it was worth it. It'll glimmer. You'll see the glimmerings of it. You'll see the hope of it. You'll be like, wow, this, this, this made sense. This made sense. So my love, September does look to be very, very beautiful for you. Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful for you. 
And for those of you guys that are thinking about setting intention and magic, I would set the intention for a beautiful transition. I would set the intention for luxury as far as my time and my ability to enjoy the time that I have here on earth and to have a natural sense of ease and effortlessness and flow. I would also set the intention that all of my wants and needs be provided for and that I do not crack under pressure. <laughs> Those are the things that I would write down. So my loves, I do have a few bookings opening on my website right now. And I also am beginning to write my grimoire next week. Okay, through the month of October, November, December. So definitely keep your eyes open for that. I genuinely wanna thank you guys for being with me here now. It's always a blessing and I'm going to see you in my next video. Oh, please give this video a thumbs up because it makes a difference to my YouTube channel. I'll talk to you later, bye. Hello darlings, if you chose the second pile, this is your reading. As I was getting ready for you, I wanna say that I got this energy of like surprise and it didn't feel bad, it felt silly. <laughs> so I believe that if you chose this pile, September is going to bring to you a bunch of silly surprises. Nothing that feels like it's a waste of your time because I feel also that you have a strong sense of discernment. I think you are aware of the things that you're just like, you know what, I say yes to this. And it feels very playful. It feels like invitations coming in. It feels like dates, like going on dates or trying new things or saying yes to certain places. Think, or if you, for someone I, I'm seeing, if you own like a restaurant, you have like a, a positive shift in the restaurant or if you work in a restaurant there's a positive shift there and it's like things just start panning out it might be someone writing an article or someone presenting an opportunity to you and you just it feels like a yes with a smile on your face so i definitely felt the need to share that now let's go ahead and look at your cards i have no idea what cards you pulled okay we're gonna start with tarot Wow, six of wands, eight of cups reversed, and eight of swords reversed. I feel that you are going to come out on top here. September is the, gonna be the month where you genuinely feel like, wow, this month is working out in my favor. For some of you, you're almost expecting something to kind of like go off, but not to the point where you're anxious about it. I know that the eight of swords reversed is here, and even though it's reversed, sometimes it can still, that energy of anxiety and tension and thoughts, look, she's in her cave, kind of stuck in her head and maybe even scared, like scared to reveal herself, scared to be vulnerable. I, I just, I feel like you, I feel like this is the negation of this, like this energy has melted away if this is something that you've been dealing with or if this is something that you would normally have anxiety about like an opportunity that opportunity a lot an opportunity that presents itself to you or something that makes you tongue-tied there's something about you that feels very prepared and ready and just like a resounding yes like i'm okay with this if this is you re-entering the dating world or going on a date with someone whether it be a, a person that's new or someone from the past, there's something about like a familiarity between you and them. And it helps you to ease any anxiety and tension that you might have. I also feel that this might, this has a strong chance of developing into something pleasant and wonderful. For some of you, saying goodbye to something actually feels maybe bittersweet, but you are you feel like a sense of freedom. You feel like a sense of a fresh start, a new beginning. This could be watching something that you've worked so hard to grow, 
kind of venturing off and then you're able to take a step back and look at it and just be like, wow, look at like, look where we're at. And now that I have, now that I've set this on its way, now I have more time to do this, this, this. I almost see you trying new classes, doing new things, stepping outside of your comfort zone. There's a, a um, something that would normally, again, make you think like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this. Now you're just like, no, I, I wanna do this. Like, I'm ready to do this. There's a whole world of things to explore. I'm also seeing new friendships here. A, the expansion of a social circle. So you, if you're someone who would normally spend time in your own little bubble, you're you're definitely stepping out of that bubble and meeting new people, signing up for new classes, something that really just expands your horizon and, and your perspective. For someone I'm actually seeing like in your career, you're about to take like a master class or doing some type of focused study in order to excel or to help you in your career. This is something that normally it would have felt like the timing would have been off maybe because it would have been too much stress, too much pressure, but something feels like it eased up and now you have the time. Also, someone who's been experiencing like burnout or depression, this is about to flip over for you in the best way possible. It feels like you have, it, you might be taking medication and the medication is kicking in or you might have had a shift in your medication or a shift in your health and you're gonna start seeing the benefits of it. This is hearing some type of news and information and then it being the solution. So let's say you get blood work done. The blood work shows you, oh, well, you had a vitamin D deficiency and then you start taking vitamin D pills or vitamins and then all of a sudden you're, you feel vibrant again. Someone I'm seeing is actually going on a concert and something about this concert just carries you for the month of September. I don't know if you're excited about it, like excited to go to this concert, you go to the concert and it's everything. And then afterwards you're on the high from the concert. There's something about like some major form of entertainment that really is something that you're preparing for that carries you. I'm trying to see if I get anything else here. I don't know why I'm getting a vision of like a tree house. or being inspired by like treehouse culture. That's so random, but being inspired by treehouse culture, just something just, or something different, something that just tickles you, like just such a different way of life. And maybe like, um, some of you guys might be looking at like, and an, I'm hearing like an investment property, but it might be something unique very, very distinct, very, very distinct, very unique. Someone is about to go on a date and this is with someone that they've had their eyes on for a really long time and they're gonna be pleasantly surprised how well this turns out and this is really gonna be the start of a new beginning in this relationship. If you are getting out of divorce, like if you're d divorcing right now, there's something entertaining you in or if you're separating, there's something that felt very like restrictive to you and then when you finally, finally, it just feels like the, like something catches your eye or someone catches your eye and you're just like feeling, someone here also is doing like a, a makeover. This could be something as quick as like getting a facial or getting your your hair done and it's just a new look and it just really just lifts your spirits up or it could be something like even surgery like just a something that just really transforms your energy other one other people i'm getting a sense that someone gives you a compliment or uh I don't feel it as a promotion, although I don't wanna take that away from those that that will resonate with. I feel like it's what the promote, if you're getting promoted, it's not, the money is nice, but there's something about what the, your boss or what leadership says about your work ethic that really made it worth it. Even though, of course, the resources are, are fine. It's something about what you're, in, you're taking internally.
someone here is feeling very strong and like like capable so this is this energy might be showing up at the gym your workouts physical you also have two two animals here you have a donkey and you have a horse so there might be those animals are something that might be important to you or signifying movement okay let's look at your let's look at your oracle I'm going to leave this one. I believe this is the Crystal Spirits card. I'm going to leave that one for last because I don't know the Oracle's cards by heart at all. When they flip, I will have to read from the guidebook. I've been doing that while I was doing readings for my clients the last week and this week. Okay, so the card, wow, we have Be Spirit, Be Spirit Prosperity. So again, there's just something that feels like it's just carrying you and lifting you up. I don't know if you can see this person, this little fairy energy on the back of a bumblebee and all of the brightness here. It just feels really like uplifting. It feels like a boost to your confidence, a boost to your ego. And it's just, it's so needed. Next card we have is Divine Timing, the Green Sea Turtle. This energy is so beautiful. It's very feminine. I feel like this is also about your trust and going with the flow and just your trusting in the flow of life. You're going to feel like things are just really working out for you in the month of September. There's always divine timing at work, but I just feel like you're going to get a, a real sense that things are working out. Like it's just your time. I love that for you. Then we have magnify your intentions baby's breath this is interesting because my chick my rooster is about to crow i'm sure yep i can predict them um with magnify your intentions i actually see that you need to call out for more you know if I were you, I wouldn't, I would ride this wave, but I would allow it to continue to like triple, you know? So this is where you know that you're in a positive season in your life and things are working out in your favor. I would not settle. Meaning like sometimes, well, when we're, when things are working out, we're like, oh my gosh, I couldn't possibly ask for more. And I, I don't know if it's not that, it's not that you're being greedy. I think that it's you expressing gratitude and being open to being poured into even more than you already have. Because sometimes it's like that. I would say to you guys to be really careful about not interacting with anybody who gets triggered by the fact that you who gets triggered by the fact that you're on top of the world right now, but I think that you're just so strong in yourself that I can't imagine that anybody would get in to your headspace and make you feel bad about yourself or your blessing. But if that's the case, don't allow that, what someone's negative to say about you, get you down. Because you do deserve this. You might also need to protect yourself from people who want what you have. You might like evil eye so september would be a wonderful start to the month of protecting yourself from those who envy what you will be feeling and experiencing for the month of, month of september now what else do we have here wow dragonfly spirit truth transcends illusion so interesting because the dragonfly is somewhat of a card of surprise for me like divine timing and and things just showing up like out of the blue, like like sprinkling of fairy dust over our lives. Wow, watch your words reverse here and time to collaborate. Yeah, I just feel like there's something here that's like, hey, I choose you, I want you, let's work together, let's do this. You know, do you wanna do, do you wanna go here? Let's do that and it just feels really good. Pirate spirit, I think if there's anything that I can say, sorry, I hit the camera twice. Um, if there's anything that I can say here is that sometimes when good things happen in our lives, sometimes we say, well, oh, 
maybe this will only happen for this long because, ugh, you know my luck. You know, like those sarcastic little comments that we sometimes make or when we, when we are feeling really good about ourselves and then someone gives us a compliment and we're just like, oh no, this whole thing or we just don't allow ourselves to receive attention and receive love. This is one of those things where it's like, watch, watch your energy here because someone might actually feel a little self-conscious that they are feeling so good about themselves. Or they might be questioning how long can this last? This can't last forever. And spirit is just saying, enjoy it. Like just try to enjoy it. Also try not to look for the things, something to be wrong here. I don't know why with these puzzle pieces showing up in the ants, it's like their goal is to put the, the puzzle together to get the whole picture. Will they still be able to enjoy it if there's a few pieces of the puzzle missing? It's like you have the general picture there. Are you going to get upset that there's pieces missing? You can set intention that you find those pieces and that that allows you the opportunity to complete the whole puzzle and then hang it up or whatever. But like, don't allow any type of tiny setbacks to stop you from really enjoying what you've been working on, what you've created, where you're at right now, and in the picture, what it looks like and what it feels like. Now let's look at your crystal spirit oracle. We have here bronzite. Number 13, so the number 13 might be symbolic for someone here. Should I bring in the charms? I think next time I'm gonna bring in the charms. Let me know though. Okay, loyalty, trust, steadfastness, self-respect, trusting the conscious universe has your back. Yep. Now is the time to be sure you trust in the conscious universe and remain true to your authentic self as bronzite spirit appears with the message that loyalty must be earned. Be judicious in extending your trust, knowing it is a gift from the universe that must be honored. Respect others by being trustworthy yourself, speaking of them in ways that are honorable. See, there's something about like watching your words and what, how you speak about yourself, how you speak about others. Heal the past by owning your role in it so you can trust yourself again, having learned the lessons that will strengthen you. Wow. Okay, let's read the relationship message too. Even if you have been betrayed in the past, you can heal the sting by extending trust again, as, a, as challenging as that may be. This crystal reminds you that this time, however, you are much wiser and stronger, much more mindful of the signs that signal you, you need to step back and nurture yourself. Being true to another is an expression of the beauty of the divine, and you have this capacity. Your loyalty and steadfastness will be rewarded by the universe, perhaps in ways that you don't expect. See, be true to yourself, knowing that a loving, respectful relationship with yourself lays the groundwork for a loving, respectful relationship with another. Remember, you are always protected when divinely directed. And it's so true. I feel like there might be a tendency your battle, this is what I'll say, your battle, if there will be a battle at all in the month of September, will be to allow yourself to trust in the flow of life again. It will feel easy and effortless, but you might doubt or question that you're safe in that and maybe look for things to go wrong, to go left, to go haywire. And this is where you need to, spirit is kind of reminding you to magnify your intentions, not because you're gonna attract it to you, but it's gonna stop you from being able to enjoy the present moment. And then, of course, there could be more things that are amplified, but practice gratitude and it'll help you to get to that energy as well. So my loves, thank you so much for choosing this pile. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really does make a difference to me and my YouTube channel. Genuinely, it does. Um, and honestly, if you do like this video, I'm sending you good energy right now. And if you're not and you just watch the watch this message and didn't like the video, then it's just like, well, dang, why, why are you hating? <laughs> Anyways, my loves, um, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I am going to be working on readings for the remainder of the year and closing the apothecary carry down because I'm gonna be writing my tarot book and really diving into it. It's not going to be the modern guide to tarot. Some of you guys ask what's the difference between the original book that I wrote that's doing well on Amazon and this second one. This is gonna be, the second one is going to be 
a deeper dive into tarot as well as our ability to create remedies in our lives through magic and tarot and setting intention okay so um thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and if you want any updates on my writing or on readings you can check it out at bahadilife.com i'll see you guys later bye hello my love so if you chose the third pile this is your reading so i haven't seen any of the oracle cards or the tarot cards yet we're just gonna be diving in what does the month of september hold for you let's start with the tarot wow okay high priestess reversed page of pentacles upright and the tower card reversed you know what i just heard if you if you've been second guessing your intuition or feeling a blockage with your intuition, that is going to lift. I feel that this pile, you're highly intuitive. I think that you've been ungrounded though. Like the maybe the months leading up to this, you have been very in your head. You've been there's just this been a oh, lot. There's been this common energy that I actually now I'm looking back at each of the piles of some sense of like some varying form of anxiety. So for some it might be an actual anxiety, panic attacks, or it could be just brain fog, confusion, confliction in in the mental space, or feeling frazzled, overstimulated, overwhelmed, needing to ground, needing to connect and looking for the opportunity to do that. And even in that, maybe not necessarily finding peace. September is going to bring you into a space of divine intervention with ritual and routine because I feel like your angels and your guides have seen you kind of struggling and asking for it and help you to make the necessary changes to make yourself feel more balanced and upright. I'm also seeing a dietary change. I think even something as simple, but as great as changing the quality of the water that you're drinking. There's something about the water or knowing that you need to drink water throughout the day, but finding yourself in a constant state of dehydration. I also feel that there's some type of disaster that's being avoided here. And it's odd because I feel that the divine or our angels and our guides, the universe doesn't put us in situations to make us unsafe, but they, there are moments where things reveal to you how, just how protected you are. And I feel like September will show you that there's protection around you. I also see partnership, finding like like-minded soul spirits. I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing um, growing closer in, in a relationship. If this is a romantic relationship that already exists, there's a, a commonality, like a common ground that you just are connecting through conversation and through the mind with another person. I also feel like a heart to heart. Someone might be coming back in the month of September to express to you something similar to an apology. Something that they feel that they that you owe, that they deserve to give to you. I'm also seeing the month of September being a time where you feel like you have had enough of a situation and although this might not necessarily feel as positive as the last two piles it's actually pretty good because you finally are wiping your hands of something i'm seeing that for some of you guys it's been like a, a toxic bond or a toxic thought that you've been stuck on like a subconscious 
and finally you're accepting that this isn't this isn't your re this doesn't have to be your reality anymore and you may not, might not have necessarily believed it. that's why you're fighting so much with it inside of yourself I'm seeing someone spending a lot of time going for walks or the benefits of participating in walks I don't know if that's something that you're doing it with another person or you're doing it by yourself. This doesn't necessarily need to be in nature. It could also just be like on something like a treadmill. I'm seeing someone reading, like a lot of reading, like books. Or something that is like a solo activity where you're in your own world. And in your own imagination, in your own thoughts. You're not even thinking about life. You might be putting down a small investment into the next chapter in your life. So something that you're building towards. So let's say this, if you're buying, if you're trying to save up to buy a house, this is op like adding to the savings account, not necessarily buying the home. I'm also seeing like budgeting there. This feels very like a simplification of life and I don't want to say, okay, I, I, man, so it's not that you're bored. It's not that you're overly content. It's that you're moving through day to day. It, I also feel like you're getting, you're moving through something in the month of September. So if this is a breakup, it's kind of like moving through it and not needing to have all the answers but just just being like okay or if you're by yourself it's almost like ideally you would want like friendship or companionship but you're you're okay with or spirit is giving you the space to be okay with but it also feels like this the moment when you are just okay with things just being what they are opportunity generally starts to flow through it feels like the steps that you're taking now are going to be things that are going to pay off greater in the, in the future I see someone like rearranging their purse or cleaning out their purse or a book bag or Something like that you carry your stuff in, like you hold all your stuff in. It could be your car. This feels like maintenance. I, I, the month of September feels like maintenance for this pile, which is not a bad thing because it's like you're not having like anything disastrous happen to you. You're maintaining. It's like cleaning the bathtub, you know, after taking a bath. And just the satisfaction and then playing a video game afterwards or it there it just feels really like satisfying like if, if you're supposed to be adulting you're adulting well and you know that you're doing well so you feel good about it there might be some strategy like planning something again for the far future For someone, this could be wedding planning or knowing what you, you want in a partnership. Something that you're striving for or striving towards. Someone might be buying a new car in the month of September too. Or trading in a car and, and then getting something else. All right, let's look at your oracle cards. Okay, we have fluorite here, but I'm going to have to read that. Okay, spirit has your back, eagle spirit. There is always enough and sometimes life stings. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, it, it's like, for some of you guys, you felt like you were, like, you're coming out of a time in your life where you, it felt like you were swimming in circles or you just felt really lost. You felt very frazzled. You felt very disconnected. And to be in a place where you 
aren't necessarily swimming in circles anymore. Like you're just like, okay, at least I'm not in that small pond anymore. At least the energy shifted in some way. It's not that it's the, what you would want everything to be, but at least it wasn't, it's not what it was. You might be processing some hurts or moving away from disappointment and learning how to trust the divine plan in that, but not needing to run out of it. Like, it's like you're not expecting to be 100% healed, 100% happy. Some, sometimes things are just disappointing, you know? And I just feel like you're just glad that you're not getting cheated on. I don't know why I want to say that. Like, it's you're you're better off you 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 have a sense that i'm better off without this and i know that this isn't the end of the road for me i'm just glad that i'm not where i was there's this overarching sense of just like there's progress there it not, may not necessarily be where you ultimately see yourself but you can you're there's something about the joy of maintaining feels like an improvement leadership yes yeah, stag spirit this is really putting you in a position where you're starting to truly understand this is what makes me tick this is what i want this is what i don't want this is why i surrender this is what i let go of this is i also feel like for some of you guys you're actually going to find in your day-to-day -day routine like it's gonna maybe not feel monotonous but just like you're gonna feel like like a bolt of lightning, like, whoa, it's going to strike you and just be like, wow, I'm actually, I'm very, I'm very happy. Like I'm, I'm, this is, I'm okay. Like this feels good. If this is a relationship, this could be a lack of a relationship, right? So wanting to be in a relationship, but not having that partner yet or in a relationship and feeling like, like, I mean, you know, it's like, they're good. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Is this my person? It's not like, it's not terrible, but it's not, you know. And I think you're going to see, you're going to get, you're going to have this oh, aha moment of this is, well, for everyone, it's going to be different. Some might, some might feel like, wow, this is just my person. And I might have been attracted to chaos before, and this is why it's weird to be. Or you could be the the opposite of this is just not my person and i'm settling yeah look flying fox self-nurture so it's like you're you're doing okay I, I hate to just say that but it's like sometimes it's okay to be just okay and sometimes it's good to just go to target do your work well you know wake up in the morning, brush your teeth, get ready for the day, go to work, clock out, go to Target, make dinner, read a book, go to bed at a decent time. This September feels like it's predictable in the way that is delightful for you at the season in your life, especially if you're coming out of a chaotic time. And I feel like, I don't know how to explain this, but you not having like highs and lows is going to be good for the future because it means that you're planning for something for the future. So let's say you're not necessarily planning a big trip for the month of September or going on a big trip for the month of September. There's something about like mitigation. I don't know if that's the right word, but keeping things like this works that makes it so that in the future you have a gift on the horizon and you know this, like you, you know this, and this is why you're choosing it because you know that what's ahead of you is greater than where you're at right now. And especially if this is coming from a, a season in your life where it felt like it's disappointment after disappointment. So sometimes to be in a space where the energy is clear and clean and you're just enjoying that is pretty good. Like it's okay to be okay. Open your third eye is the next card to jump out. And this is to, to again, because you have the high priestess here reversed. So you might be a little feeling a little blocked off right now with your intuition again like with when with the eagle spirit here spirit has your back there's a message here that wants to come through when it comes to the future i believe that for the month of september if you chose this pile you're going to get gain clarity on what spirit's been telling you about your future and how to get there 
this is something that wants to grow, wishes to grow. It's giving the energy of like fertility, meaning like something is manifesting and growing here and very protective. Especially after, after a series of disappointment. Let's look at fluorite. Oh, wow. Look at that. I just opened it right to that. Um, clarity and purity, clear focus, and an end to cluttered thinking. Literally, that's exactly what I was saying. When the way forth is clear, a sense of purpose and enthusiasm arise, arises and the fog of distraction lifts. That's what I said. I, I'm pretty sure I said that in this reading. Fluorite spirit appears when confusion is about to disperse, giving way to pure wisdom and free, unambiguous intentions. It reminds you that you can achieve clarity by slowing down and consciously choosing to release any confusion or distractions. Like a still pool reflecting the beauty of the sky, a calm state of mind can produce the clarity you seek, allowing your intentions to be pure. Obstacles to co-creating can slip away as you work with fluorite spirit to magnify all that is pure, good, and loving within you. Focus on that and it will be amplified. Yeah, this is something, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, it's like something about not having distractions, not having... This is, September is going to be the month of clarity for you. Just really giving you clarity and really connecting to what your third eye, your intuition, or even maybe things have been so busy for you that you haven't even had the ability, the space to do that. And when you're self-nurturing and focusing on yourself, that happens. Like it just kind of flows. So this feels really good. Feels very, very good. So my loves, please give this video a thumbs up. It definitely helps my YouTube channel. Um big time. I've been working on readings lately. I do have a few spaces available for the month of October because I believe September booked out. I'm pretty sure. I'm not opening up the apothecary because I'm going to be writing my my next book, which I've been writing on writing for a few years now. It's my tarot book, which is not the beginner's guide to tarot, the modern guide to tarot, which was on Amazon. It's actually a deeper dive into tarot and magic and remedies, etc., etc. So you can look out for that. You can check my website, bahadilife.com, for readings. I do not reach out to people on WhatsApp or any social media platform offering them a reading. Anything would have to be booked through the only website that I have, which is bahadilife.com. Everything else is going to be a scam, and they're trying to get you. They're trying to get you. All right, my loves, I do hope that September is good to you. Thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.